Hello everybody and welcome back to our Fallout 3 uh, playthrough. I'm your host, Venom 4. Namaste, dear friends, namaste. Yeah, okay, thanks. Um, <laughs> we are off a little bit smartly attired. Currently on my lunch break. Uh, we're going to go and head down. I'll just nip quickly into um, my place up here. Drop off some bits and bobs so that we're not carrying a load of poop. Uh, and then we're going to get on our way. I want to try and get a couple more of these things done. Uh, right, so... First and foremost, let's head over to, not weapons, not apparel, mm, it's not aid, misc, let's pop those in there, I don't need to hold on to the nuka cola machine, I don't think, let's do that, I'm at 108 at the moment, is there anything else that I can drop off that I don't need to be holding on to? Uh, mm, no, but I think we can repair quickly. Items. Let's repair our pistol. Okay. I'll repair that other hunting rifle. I don't really want to be holding on to an environmental suit, but never mind. Uh, and as you can see, we picked up that Nuka Cola. Thingy, and now we've got a Nuka Cola vending machine, a pristine Nuka Cola vending machine. Get some ice cold Nuka Cola. It's got eight. And we can actually put Nuka Cola into this and it will come out as ice cold Nuka Cola. I don't want to put the uh, Nuka Cola Quantum in because I'm not sure that comes out either as ice cold Quantum. I think it just comes out as normal Nuka Cola, maybe. I I vaguely remember there being a bug actually in the European version of the game. Um, right, anyway, so we've got a couple of quests to be getting on with. One of them is that she wanted, she being Moira, she wanted us to go out and test her mole rat repellent Welcome stick. I'm not planning on doing that today. What I did want to do was head over to... Not Willem's Wharf, not the Tepid Sewers. Let's head over to the Wharf anyway, because I think it's over here, the area that I want to be going to. Yeah. Maggot. And you, again, you may vaguely remember that time there were a load of people on the opposite bank. And I think they're probably still going to be there. They were over there. Yeah, look, I can see them moving. So they're bandits. The area I actually want to be going is over there, I think. If memory serves correctly. Let's head over the bridge though. Um, I've got my hunting rifle at the ready. Anchorage War Memorial, that's it. Let's just quick save. Now, there's actually a metro station up here, so let's get that on the map quickly as well. Just whilst we're here because I expect I will need to use the metro stations soon. And where is this one? This is the, I think that's the flooded metro station. No, Arlington Wasteland Metro, okay. I'm not sure it's the Arlington one we need later on. Oh, there's dog meat. There's also Someone here. They're not red on the mini map. Compass thing. Hey there. That's oh, a scavenger. You got anything for sale? A few odds and ends. Okay. Let's have a look at your odds and ends here. Nothing I want particularly. Uh, I will just sell that. And the environmental suit I'm not bothered about either. There we go. Thanking you kindly. Bye. See ya. Right, so uh, you may recall previous episode, fairly long one, but we ended up picking up dog meat. It was now following us everywhere. And I've got a feeling that dog meat can actually die. 
the area that I'm about to go to is pretty hardcore. Why are there a load of mines over this bridge? Hmm, okay. Um, yeah, the area we're about to step into is pretty hardcore. Uh, and Dogmeat could end up actually dying. The Anchorage Memorial Facility. I can't remember if it was there. There's a centaur. Something you haven't seen before up there. Whoa! Whoa! What do you want? Why are you... Oh! It's not you. It's this thing. It's the... <gasps> Blimey heck, that's a big one. That's what she said. Right. Let's actually try and get the body. Uh, okay. Dog meat, careful. This is where you're going to end up being. This is where dog meat's going to end up dying, I expect. And there's these centaurs over here chucking poop at us. Alright, let's see if I. <gasps> dog meat is dead! That's not cool. Alright, do you know what? I don't want dog meat to die. We've only just got dog meat. All right. I don't want to get involved with that fight if we end up having that again. Oh, luckily it's just a dog this time. Because that was a random encounter we just had there. Right. So this be the Anchorage War Memorial, which will make sense a little bit later on in the game. So these are the things that we're actually off to go and kill. Maya Lurks. Maya Lurks, sorry. And the door I think that we need is over here. Tepid sewer. Wait. Where's the tepid sewer? Maybe the tepid sewer was the place where we needed to go for the... M yeah, no. Tepid sewer was for the... Um, for the mole rats. So, ignore that for now. Right. We've gone down here. The whole purpose of this is to clear this area out of these mire lurks. The reason for that, whoa, look, there's one. Aim for the eye, because that's the soft, gooey part. It's not good that I'm missing here. Shotguns make short work of these things. Sure, dog meat is going to die if I'm not careful. Yeah. All right. Sorry, uh, sorry, dog meat. Oh gosh, I'm out of ammo for those guns. Right. These things... No, I didn't want to drink. Clown. These things pack a massive punch. I'm so sorry, dog meat. So, so sorry. My look. Hatchling meat. How annoying. Well, I think I mentioned before that uh, I didn't really use... A um, companion on this game. So, as uh, much as it pains me to say, so sorry, dog meat. We're just gonna have to deal with it. I'm afraid. Poor little dog meat. 
the little doji doge. Right. I might be better off actually using explosives on these things. Head back a second. That's better. Um, I don't want to go to the capital wasteland. What I'm doing is actually clearing this section for a, a quest that forces us to come here and basically it's um, it's another one of the Moira quests she wants us to place this device inside a uh, hatching area down here but she wants us to do it without killing any of these guys and you can actually obviously <laughs> some people might consider this a, a uh, not a cheat but the game only recognises that you've actually killed these things if you're down here killing them at the time that you come down for the quest. If you come down here beforehand and you clear the area so that you can move freely, then there's no issue. Um, I'm just going to check to see whether there's anything down here for us. We definitely need some ammo, and I don't want to be set upon by any of these Maya lurks. Anchorage Memorial Facility Bay. Uh, where's this place take us? I'm going to quick save again. So peed that we've uh, lost our little friend Doggy Dog Meat, though. <gasps> have a grenade have another one. Oh, that's gonna hit me that didn't even do anything what <laughs> what alright hang on I, th mm, I thought I picked up some mines, no? Clearly not. Alright, let's try this thing. Aim for the eye. How can you miss with a sniper rifle at that close range? Exactly. cakes so basically this was like a breeding facility I take it for actually breeding more of these things to turn them into meat and someone's just left them be um, thing is I'm still nowhere near where I need to be I've got a feeling I've got to go through this doorway here Right, I think it's in one of these that we need to place it and then get out by the same way. So I think I've cleared it to a satisfactory level. Let's uh, leave now. Before we do, I'll get the repellent stick. This isn't going to do anything to 
Going the wrong way. This isn't going to do anything to... <laughs> Scared me poopless! Alright, I'm leaving him behind for a second. He must have followed me. Let's just shut that door. They're not clever enough to open doors, he says. Tepid Sewer was the name of the game. Ah! Uh, I've also got Maya Luck trying to hunt me down here. Okay! So, where were we? This quest is to test out the repellent stick on these little lovely fellas. Oh. And that's what happens. Don't know if you noticed, but a little cloud comes around them and then poof! Off with their head. <laughs> it's uh, not so much a repellent as a, an immediate murdering device of mole rats, poor little boogers, but um, that's, uh, <laughs> that's what a stick does. So we've tested it out on two mole rats. I think you need to do it on a total of 10 to get the benefit of the additional... Uh, oh, three. Three was the magic number just to test it. But if we test it on 10, we'll get the other uh, special, which is always nice, the extra bonuses. So I may as well go and do that now. So we've done three so far. Oh gosh, alright, we've got, look, this is for a turret control system, which does mean we've got turrets down here, not good, you can see it's just there, it's only a mark one turret, missing with this gun though, I probably need to get a little bit closer, and I don't want it to set off the you see there's gas coming through here. Right, let's take those. Let's have a look in there. Scrap metal, yep. I need to change back to my stick. Did I not hotkey my stick? Where's my stick gone? Okay. Actually I might hotkey the sniper rifle as well for future reference. Um get my stick out again. Here, there's one, there's two. That might have actually only been one, but let's head up here. Hi, guys. One, two. trap them behind the door and they just go splat. Oh, okay. That's fine. You just go get splat as well. Ooh. We leveled up. Lovely. Okay. Um... Hmm. Alright. I want to get small guns to 50. Repair to 50. Explosives to 40. I really need to start putting in points into lockpick and science. Uh, let's do lockpick for now, and then we'll have to try and boost both of those up. Continue. Right, okay, so we've got a few, ooh, a few more um, perks that we can look at here. So we've looked at all those before. Thief, fine. Iron Fist, I know we looked at before. Bloody Mess. 
So with the bloody mess perk, characters and creatures you kill will often explode into red, gut-ridden, eyeball-strewn paste. Fun. Oh, and you'll do an extra 5% damage with all weapons. It's kind of nice. Uh, Fortune Finder. With the Fortune Finder perk, you'll find considerably more Nuka-Cola cap uh, Nuka caps in containers than you would normally. Uh, I've picked that one up before because I found that nice. I had a money issue back in the back along back in the day. Um, Gunslinger. So while using pistol or a similar one-handed weapon, your accuracy in vats is significantly increased. Lead belly. You take 50% less radiation every time you take water. Toughness. With the toughness perk, you gain plus 10% to overall damage resistance up to a maximum of 85%. Now, a lot of people that I've seen play previously take bloody mess for the extra damage. I'm actually going to take toughness on this occasion. Only because I think we're taking quite a lot of damage at the moment. And I want to try and reduce that and reduce the number of deaths in this playthrough. Um, uh, we've been here. Oh, I haven't been through this door at the end, though. I'm trying to remember if there's anything else that I should be worried about down here. Because that, to me, looks like a mine and a person. This is bullshit. Come out and fight. Yeah, all right, fine. <laughs> <gasps> Rock salt. Special named character. The gun that he's using. That is a mine. That, my friends, would be a combat shotgun. And uh, might be a bit. There we go. Disarm that mine. Each time we disarm, by the way, we get additional uh, experience. Let's try and get this one. There we go. This one. Sure, but that might be it. Oh, okay, they're normal mines. Take some rounds, because we could always. How did I miss that one without setting that off? It's impressive. I don't know if he. No, he's not. I was going to say, I don't know if he's the only guy down here. I think I'm out of ammo. No, I've got two. Rounds left. One round left. The uh, combat shotgun would have done wonders for us in the uh, area with those Mylurks that we were in earlier, by the way. Right, let's have a little look around because I know these guys have got probably a stacked ton of ammo and bits and bobs that we probably need. My gun, I think, is about to break. So let's repair it with that one. I'm also going to whack the combat shotgun on six. There we go. I don't think there's anything in there. What's that? Nada. Nice, got some stuff in here. Actually, we'll just take all that. I've picked up a new aid item within that thing. It was called a stealth boy, and it does actually put you invisible, uh, but it also increases your stealth ability as well. Something I'm still wanting to whack a load of points into just to make it, you know, certain things a little bit easier. We could do with those uh, additional critical hits. Good. Okay, so that's cleared out this area over here. How are we doing on time? Good at the moment. 
There's a lunchbox there, which I'll take, and a grenade. Shotgun shells, 10 millimeter rounds. We've got more of these mines. Mole rat. I don't know if this is a person or a mole rat. I want to get this mine though before I find out. Right, just in case it's a person, let's get the gun out. And if it's not a person, it's a mole rat. We get our stick out. There we go. <laughs> Poor little mole rats. No, Mr. Mole Rat, where are you going? Come here. And that, I think, should be our last one to test it in. Yeah, that's fine. Tested. Done and dusted. Sorry, Mr. Moldy. And I know that there is more to this area. I'm almost certain there's more to this area than uh, meets the eye. But we'll we'll leave off for now because uh, I don't think there's anything in particular down here that I want. We took out Rock Salt, or whatever his name was, with the shotgun. Which has given us a combat shotgun now, so that's good. Let's head on back. Put this away. And try and get back in one piece without setting off any mines. I know there's that one there. Just ignore that. But we've fully tested our mole rat repellent stick. Poor little guys. Not only have I gone and murdered a load of mole rats, but we murdered dog meat as well. <laughs> hey ho. And the question is though, will I be able to get out of here? No. So, this is what the shotgun does to a mile leg. Makes quick work of a mile lurk. That rhymes. Uh, let's see if I can actually get back from here to Megaton. I can. Hello. Hi. Um, we need to wait. Let's go with 12 hours. Where's that now? There we go. And that therefore completes... I mean, we're not going to complete the, uh, the second of the um, parts of the Wasteland Survival Guide today. But at least we've done the, the, the part that allows us to get into that area... Now normally I think if you were trying to do that mission uh, and get through that Mire Lurk area without killing them and doing it properly, you'd just get yourself a stealth boy and just try and run through it. Oh, I can't wait to hear how them. the repellents work. Um, I tested the mole rat repellent extensively. Oh, excellent. Substantial field testing, precise reports, and such dedication. Oh, what more could I ask for in a research assistant? Mm. So, how did my chemical repellent work? Safe and clean like a charm, I'll bet. Mm, sorry, Moira, but your repellent is fatal to mole rats. Um, it's like explosive whack-a-mole rat. Can I get it in bullet form for people <laughs> or intelligence? It appears that the mole rats have a most fatal allergy to it, explosively so. Those poor little mole ratties. Oh, I wonder if I could make a hypoallergenic version. Oh, but that'd hardly be effective. <laughs> I should mention that. Proper handling of mole rats could be important if they could be domesticated. Milked, maybe? Milked. Oh, anyway, keep the repellent. Oh, but for your trouble, um, here, have the leftover chems from working on the repellent. I'm sure you can find some use for them. And the last part of this chapter is about Mire Lurks, right? Yes, knowing more about them can help people learn to avoid or even outsmart them. 
so I picked up this observer device to study them in their natural habitat. I need you to hide one in one of the spawning pods in their lairs. Uh, okay. All right, I'll try. That's great. I recommend the nest at the Anchorage War Memorial. I knew a trader who talked about the Meyer Lurks down there. Just go inside and find one of their spawning pods, probably down near the water. Put this observer inside and get out quietly. And be sure not to kill any Meyer Lurks inside their nest. If you do, it could ruin the validity of the study. <laughs> yeah. Take care. It's a big wasteland. But you know that better than me, right? So, so there you go. That's that's what we've got to do next time. Uh, but guys, for now, I really hope you've enjoyed this one. If you have, please do all those lovely social media things. Please like, comment, share, subscribe if you are new to the channel. Please follow us on Instagram, Found Four Gaming, and I will see you next time for more in our Fallout Three playthrough. But until then, take care. Namaste. Thanks for watching, and bye bye for now.